Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel The Light of Grace and this is Grace. It's time for another money job live reading and this will be for the month of July 2022. First of all, I would like to apologize for not putting um, my serious life situation and guidance for the month of June just because I'm so hecka busy. I'm so sorry. Uh, but it's always my priority to make sure that my money job life is there every month. So thank you very much for your understanding um yeah um well for my subscribers been sticking around with me thank you so much i really do thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for sticking around with me and for my new viewers i'm hoping this reading will give you some clarity and guidance and assistance in the situation in regards to your situation and if it does please like share and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that i might have for you this is going to be general reading not all of it might apply to you so take what resonates and drop that's not this is money reading this is aries with job reading aries no job reading and life reading and these are going to be the tangible blessings that you're going to be receiving for the month of july 2022 which is i'll be reading at the end of it okay so what's coming your way when it comes to money you have the ten of c or the ten of cups Clarified by the two of staves. Page of Pentacles. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the change in the wind. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Surrender stress, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you build up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Last one, nine of fire. Let me just have a little bit of my coffee. So with the 10 of C here, it's a good energy to have for July 2022 regarding money. Okay, but I'm not going to deny the fact that you're not going to have a stress on this because I see the stress in here. There's going to be some stress that you have to go through, but I think you will be handling it greatly. You're going to handle your problems, any issues that might arise, any um, stress that might arise regarding money transactions managing management you're gonna be okay you're gonna be if you want peace of mind when it comes to money anything that's got to do with money you're gonna be able to manifest that okay um with the two of staves in here I feel that you are the word preparing come to my head although this is not a prep preparing card energy but I have to address that you are preparing you're always preparing or you're prepared to anything that might arise when it comes to money or anything that that's got to do with money you're always looking forward to possible problems that might arise. You always make sure that you're ready to things. As far as money, money is not a problem to you, Aries. You always know how to ground your energy when it comes to money or handling money or managing money with the Page of Pentacles here. You always know how to get yourself into a rounding energy that's why you have no problem fixing or managing or going through stress and problems to switch it to a stable and grounded energy money does not frazzle you money does not cause you to really be stressed out but yes there's some time that really money gets in your nerve gets really 
you really get stressed out and the universe is just is letting you know to let go the stress and focus on your center because that's how you do well when you focus to your center that's how you get yourself out of stress and that's how you manage to uh, bring more abundance into your life with a dream world into being that's how you manifest things you make things happen because you are focused so when you get to the point that you are not focused because the stress is kind of taking over you then you know what that's the time that you need to change it you need to change that energy and i do feel that you don't have problem changing that energy okay otherwise you you're not gonna have you're gonna be abundant this uh this july 2022 i think you're gonna be okay all right Let's go to Aries with job reading. What's coming your way? You have the Ten of Sky or the Ten of Swords. Clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Staves. The Eight of Staves. Advice, guidance, and message from the Divine and the Universe. You have the message in a bottle. Whilst wasp spirit sometimes life stinks sometimes life stinks sometimes i eat my work because i talk fast surrender to the magic of who you are we all have magic in us even the mundane aspect of life remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you and last you have five of fire Work is going to be a little hard on you. If money is okay, work is not going to be. Because you have the Ten of Sky in here. You have the life, sometimes life stings. And you have the Five of Fire. Okay? So just telling me that this July 2022, you might go through some, some stress and worries and problems. Uh, okay? Somebody might be stabbing you behind your back. Somebody... Um, gonna be talking behind your back there's gonna be some conflicts you're not gonna like it there's gonna be some gossips having the eight of staves in here there's gonna be some gossips and talk around you there's gonna be exchange of um words I think it's affecting you. It's affecting you. Because the universe is letting you know. Sur surrender to the magic of who you are. It's reminding you. That you are special. That you're magical. Despite you're going through some hardship, you are still you, you are still unique, you are still valuable, you are still special. Sometimes when we go through hardship, it doesn't matter if it's work, life, personal, whatever. We go through questioning ourselves, we go through some doubts. We question ourselves as, why is it happening to me? I deserve this. It's my fault. You know, those kind of blaming yourself issues, yes. <sighs> You're trying to fight back. As you can see, this this dog here has a has um arrow here and he has an arrow on his mouth. He's trying to remove these arrows off his body 
and obviously you can see he's bleeding from the side that he pulled this arrow you're trying to fight back you're trying to to take all these wordings out of your head but it's hurting you it's causing pain people are infusing this hurtful news and informations and gossip behind your back but here you are you're fighting and trying to re re remove all those arrows that represent criticism judgment and so on so here you here you are you're conflicted you're not happy you're serious about it with these three of staves here this is telling me that you're waiting for all these things this fast moving energy this uh, this fiery energy that's sort of maybe causing damages into your the causing damage to causing damage to you and you're waiting for that to be over you're waiting for stability to come back again into your life you're waiting for these whole things to be over and what you do now is you just you just focus on making money you you divert your attention to making money instead but you can help recognizing and feeling that there are pain going on around you and through you the divine is saying life sometimes life stings sometimes life stings sometimes we just have to go through this because life is not going to be always happy right it's not going to be always happy and sometimes the best thing we can do is to go through it and re realize that this is not going to be forever but that whatever conflict that you might be going through that it's going to go away that these are temporary But the most important advice the divine wants you to know is that you have to to still feel and not just feel but to know that you are special that you are a magical person that you are not weird that you are not different that you are you are it's saying here that you are unique unique but not it's hard to say unique but not different you are not different because you are a human being you are the entitlement and the right in this world but you are unique on your own way you are you that makes you you but you are not different you're not aliens you're not uh, a fly you're not an, anything like that i'm just saying that you are a human being but with uniqueness with magic and I hope that you're going to continue realizing that there is a message that's going to be coming around soon it's almost around the corner now and this news is something that you're not expecting having the eight of wands in here and this news that you're not expecting might cause conflict that you're not or or you might not like the news or this news is something that you have been waiting for for quite a while this is about related to your job 
if you are a business person or you're self-employed yes that, that could be it to me you're waiting for some income and it's just around the corner okay this is the money okay if you're not a businessman this is just saying that maybe you're gonna have an increase that you're not expecting okay again you might be going through all this this july but don't forget that you are a magic you're a magical person you're special you're valuable you're important you matter okay let's go to aries with no job What's coming your way? You have the C alpha male in reverse or the king of swords in reverse. Clarify by the star. The knight of vessels. The moon. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have to the sea. Big spirit, use your mind wisely. surrender negative thinking you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts sur surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmation and lastly you have ace of earth okay <laughs> With this C alpha male in reverse or the king of swords in reverse, I think you are <sighs> stressing out. There's a lot of things in your mind. A lot of things in your mind and that could be fear. Fearing that you're not going to have the financial stability that you need. Fear that you're not going to find a job. sad for all that too for not having a job so whatever this emotional feelings this 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 dark emotions that you have in that's inside you is making it is it's affecting your mind the way you see things the way you feel things and it's leading you to a negative thinking whatever this moon this could be fear anger disappointment being on a pessimism it's making you think negatively and it seems like that what makes you that what that is what your mind uh, that your mind is preoccupied by negative thinking. You can make up a decision. You cannot make up a decision. You don't know where to start. You feel like a dum dum. But here's the thing, my dear Aries, with no job. You have the to the sea. You have the ace of earth. You have the nine of vessels, the stars. These are beautiful cards. These are the thing that you're not seeing because your mind is populated by negative energy. You're not seeing that there is an opportunity coming your way you're not seeing that there is a wish fulfillment here having the nine of vessels and the stars this is totally wish fulfillment and having the ace of earth that is really you gonna have a job 
this is around the corner for you the only the reason why you're not seeing is because you are so thinking negatively of yourself and your situation because of this moon energy now what god wants you to know is that you have to to think wisely use your mind wisely instead of seeing an energy of this c alpha male in reverse which is a king of swords in reverse you have to be the king of swords why am i thinking this is a king of swords this is actually a c that's why i was like wondering how come there's water maybe mine is so oh okay all right thank you okay sorry for saying that this is uh, the king of swords but it's not king of swords i don't know somehow i really do feel that it's a king of sword but it's actually a king of cups but in reverse so now what i'm feeling the reason why i think that the king that this is a king of swords in reverse is because your mind is polluted with negative energy and the source of all this negative energy is because of the moon okay of the moon and the moon is emotion is a deep emotion and so being the king of cups in reverse this is emotion it means you're not happy and when you're not happy because you're of the did of because of the disappointment that you're going through for not having the job, not having the money, not having the resources, it makes you this emotionally, it makes you an emotion, it makes you emotionally unstable. And when you're emotionally unstable, it's gonna lead you to the negative thinking. This is when emotion climb up to the head, your heart to the head. When you're feeling sad and depressed and disappointed, it affects your mind. Then you started thinking negatively. You started feeling pessimistic. You started feeling hopeless. You started feeling confused. And that's probably why I feel, felt like it's a sword energy. Here's the thing. The heart and the mind, they have to work together. And they usually affect each other. When your heart is not happy, your mind is not happy. And it started thinking negatively. But when your heart is happy and fulfilled, then your mind is in a positive energy. That is why I felt that this was the king of swords in reverse when in fact it's the king of king of cups in reverse so now they are related to each other so going back to the advice from the divine and the universe is that you have to use this big spirit you have to use your mind wisely and you have to surrender this negative thinking and when you surrender negative thinking, you are using your mind wisely. Because if you have a wise mind, the, your mind is going to say, dump all this negative thinking and you have to follow your heart. You have to follow your intuition. You have to stay positive and you have to stay hopeful because if you give up and you let this negative energy rule you then what's gonna lead you is to this moon energy which is disappointment sad fear and all that whole nine yard and that's gonna lead you to this king of cups in reverse energy just go with the flow with this to the sea go with the flow don't dwell on a negative energy don't dwell in a negative thinking just go with the flow of life stay positive 
stay positive and stay hopeful and keep wishing for job if that's what you wanted if you want financial stability then that yeah keep wishing for that and stay optimistic because around the corner divine is saying you have you have an opportunity you have a job opportunity you have some financial opportunity you have this stability coming your way okay now let's go to the life reading what's coming your way you have the fool um confirmation the devil the ten of vessels the five of pentacle the ace of swords advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the truth be told Armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. And four of air. okay before i talk about the fool i want to talk about because the fool is about starting a journey it's about taking a leap of faith but i'll talk about it in a bit let's talk about this 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 uh devil energy and the five of pentacles energy and the surrender your desire to control and this and i cannot hold it but anyway let's talk about this so in your life it could be a specific aspect that could vary depending what you're going through we all go through the different situations it could be a toxic energies regarding relationships either marriage or relationship love relationship or friend relationship or something or it could be work uh, aspect of your life it could be money aspect okay but it seems to be like money is not gonna be a problem much but maybe some aspect of your life is going through some diff some hardship but with this here there is a situation in your life right now that is really causing some fixation and you are fixated on something and i feel like you are obsessed about this specific aspect of your life whatever this may be and and it feels like with this surrender your desire to control people you have a little bit of of, of an obsession over or blah, 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 or overly controlling the situation that you don't know how to recognize that what you're doing is not really setting a healthy, healthy boundaries maybe you're crossing the boundaries of some person of, of a person or a situation or something right because you don't know how to recognize that you are over controlling that person or situation you don't know that you're crossing their boundaries if this is a relationship yes you're over this you feel like you can control the situation you feel like you can control this person it become obsessive to the point that it's toxic okay that is one sample that is one situation or maybe there's an aspect of your life that you are so controlling that you the people surrounding you you are affecting their energies You're causing this five of pentacles. You're pushing people away because of your controlling streak. 
your controlling energy because this is a devil energy and you have the devil energy that's a double whammy here these two cause damage this is one way to sabotage relationship this is one way to break up people this is one way to ruin something special if it's a relationship then you push that person away because you don't know when to stop now you are left alone sad maybe broken disappointed or maybe angry because you are left alone you were left behind or you are ghosted for a while you are hiding yourself behind this mask you're not seeing the truth of a situation because you're so in the devil energy meaning you are so fixated on all this <sighs> controlling uh, that's, uh, that's all i can think of is controlling energy they, they, look at this devil there is two people that are on chain you are controlling these people these people cannot do anything because you put them in chain that's what I'm saying. And if you say something, you don't know if it's going to hurt them. If you do something, you don't know the effect of it. You're just going to do whatever you want to do because you wanted to do it. You feel empowered. You feel like you have the right. You feel like you're always right or you're right. But that way, you are pushing people away. And this could apply to your job if you have a businessman. Maybe you're too strict of a boss and here you are. You're upsetting people because you don't know how to set your boundaries. Maybe you're too too much behind their back that you are like choking them and so here they are they left you and you don't have an employee At whatever situation that you might going through that you have some sort of a control issue it doesn't have a good result or it's not going to have a good result if you don't take care of it But this July, this July, there is this Ace of Sword. This is about awakening to the truth. This is about knowing the truth, taking the mask of your energy, of your face. Because I think the universe is doing something in your life. You being awakened, you being enlightened that that's not how it's supposed to be done. That's not how it's supposed to work. That you can't control people. You're going to realize that you have to take this mask off so you can see the truth. This truth will set you free. When you are in this controlling energy, when you are in this devil energy, you are feel bounded you feel locked in you feel not free and you will never be feeling free but if you find the truth if you seek truth then you are setting yourself free painful it might be but you are setting yourself free because now you are releasing and removing the hand cap, the chain that's wrapped around you.
as holding you down to get stuck in the dungeon of negative energy toxic energy this ace of swords is going to help you and guide you to get to your ten of vessels or ten of cups it's going to lead you to your happiness and peace of mind but there is a need for a lot of hard work there is a need for you to set healthy boundaries for you to realize that you can't control people for you to realize that there are boundaries that need that needs to be respected you're going to realize with this ace of sword that you can't control people that what you're doing is toxic that what you're doing is not making you happy it's just making you feel more alone now this is when the full energy comes in this is about starting fresh it's about changing the game this here the devil energy and this uh, surrender your desire to control people it seems like there's so much darkness surrounding them right darkness and there's like like heat and darkness in here okay but look at this fool there's sun it's bright it's happy it's peaceful there's even a butterfly and butterfly symbolizes transformation this july you're gonna realize that a change has to happen that you need to change the way you see things the way you address things the way you think the way you take care of business this is the month when you're gonna be looking at things differently but more in a positive optimistic bright light it has a refreshing energy to this and the universe is letting you know You're going to be contemplating about this a lot. You're going to seek truth. You're really going to know what have you done to sabotage things in your life. What have you done to what have you done in your life that really causing all this negative energy? This is the moment where you're going to start contemplating. But this contemplation is going to lead you to really figure out what's going to give you the peace of mind. And here's the thing. In the traditional tower, the four of swords is like there is this person laying down. There's a three sword pointing up and there's a sword above it. You're going to realize all the pain and the heart that you've caused to yourself and to other people. And then this ace of sword that's sitting on top of you is the answer. And that is awakening yourself to the truth. This will set you free. This will lead you to peace. To living peacefully. To living fairly. To living compassionately. To, be, to living... It's so much truthfulness to it you're going to be living with so much truthfulness to it you're going to be living an authentic life you're not going to be wearing masks anymore and it's going to lead you to happiness and it's going to lead you to maybe finding true love it's going to lead you to finding a happy relationship it's because you're going to know how to maneuver yourself into a relationship instead of controlling that person or that relationship or however that fits in your situation this is a beautiful energy 
scary it might seem because you are changing your lifestyle you're changing the way you see things the way you do things it's kind of scary but i think you're going to be looking forward to it like this dog going out and exploring and doing some adventure So you have the ten of sea, the ten of sky, the sea alpha male in reverse, and the fool. This month of July is not gonna come easy for you because you have the ten of sky. But it, it but it seems like you are towards the end of this that you're closing a cycle of your life, and you're gonna start fresh. You're ending something and you're beginning something like a death energy. And whatever this unhappiness that is going through in your life that involves some aspect of your life. You're going to recognize, you're going to release that. You're going you're gonna to recognize, you're going to realize that. And you're going to start starting to release it as this dog is trying to remove all the swords out of his body. And once you get rid of all that swords out of your body, you're going to start the process of healing, of fixing the pain, closing up the past and moving forward to find your, your emotional fulfillment with a different cycle. These are the blessings that you're going to be receiving this month, July 2022. Wow, take a leap of faith talking about taking a leap of faith like what i said this is the gift from god that is being gifted to you because it's about time aries to live a life that is different from what you usually have been living with or used to healing wow that's what i was just saying you gonna heal all this it's not going to be easy. I'm telling you, it's not. And especially if you have so much sores that's been poke you, that's been stab you. Those are things that need to be healed. It takes time. Fun. That's good to, have, to add to all this healing. Fun. There's going to be some fun going on, okay? And selflessness. Wow. This is a beautiful energy to have. This is about healing your toxic energy your obsessive compulsive whatever the that controlling energy of yours you're gonna be gifted by selflessness this july 2021 you're gonna heal whatever energy that's not working for you and for the people surrounding you this is being introduced to you how to be selfless how to be selfless and to heal all the pain that you've gone through and to heal all the pain that you've caused others it might take a while but it's it's better than not doing so start this start this process and i can guarantee you guarantee you that you're going to be happy about this All right, I'm sending you lots of love and light, Aries, and of course, healing. Thank you. Bye-bye.